Yo, what is up everybody? It's the dude, the rebel, the guy that steps to the next level. It's your boy Kenny Sergeant, aka Level92. What is up? And welcome everybody to another Key Clip episode. For today, ladies and gentlemen, this here is Key Clip 148, Season 2, Episode 73. Yes, 73 episodes of the Season 148 of the series. And we only got two more until our big 150 and that'll be our Season 2 finale. And I'm going to be doing something real big on that and also after that. So, <clears throat> before we get to today's game review, let's do a little uh, recap. 145, we looked at Mortal Kombat for Super Nintendo and also the bonus game, the Tiger Electronics version. Um, 146, we looked at uh, You Don't Know Jack by Tiger Electronics. And it's pre pretty good uh, quiz game. And also in uh, 147, we just did the N64 Rumble Pack. Something that I never had before in my life and thank God I actually bought it today. Or I bought it a couple days ago. So, for today's game review, uh, a game that hope everybody has played at least once or twice. And I play this like a million times. Now, I would like to go on some field trips. So, why don't we all pack up and go to the Nebco Museum for a PlayStation. <laughs> now, get to witness Pac-Man and his other Namco friends. And sorry, Tekken's not really on here because it's not really a Namco classic. There's a difference in that. Uh, but this year, I've been playing this a whole lot, and this is the only volume that I had when I was a kid. Uh, I did have one for the N64, and that was kind of different too. There's also a Miss Pac-Man version, and there's also, uh, I think, yeah, it's basically five volumes of these. Yeah, the N, of course, that's where I got the A, the M, the C, and the O. Basically, it spells out all in Namco. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I only had one. And the games that consist on here, of course, is Pac-Man, there's Galaga, Pole Position, uh, one of my favorite games, uh, Bosconian, some, and some newer games like Rally X, New Rally X, and Toy Pop. And the seed in the game, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to show, uh, probably, yeah, I'm just going to show Toy Pop because I have another thing for next season that I'm going to show you guys, and that's going to be, it's going to be worth it, but I will be showing you guys the insides of this game, so uh, let's just pop this in right now. And welcome everybody to the Namco Museum Volume 1, brought to you by Namco themselves. So, <clears throat> let's get this camera. Alright, so why I actually do like the uh, background in there, that's basically the museum in the back. So right here, this is the, there we go, that's the museum selection in the games. Basically show you the games, like I said, we have Pac-Man, Rally X, Galaga, Pole Position, New Rally X, Bosconian, and then X is not really games, just so you, you want to leave. So let's go ahead and step into the museum here. Uh, first off, every time when the low screen comes out, you press different buttons. This guy runs. He's speeding with the speed of sound. All right. So now that we are inside the museum, let's go to the lobbyist real quick. That's where you get your information. And this is the only time. Wait. Okay, so now it's just loading up my... Uh, Okay. Now, if you notice, Padme is on the real... He's on the lower right-hand side. And whenever he sees someone to interact with, he basically has, like, the, uh... Get that right? All right. Has, like, estimation point, and he's pointing, saying something. I wish I knew. So now we're stepping in here into the museum room. I have a seat right before you, if I can try to lift up. There we go. All right, so basically press triangle to, uh... Look up and all that. So right here. Okay, and circle also the sprint. So here are your games. Once again, Pac-Man room, Gallagher room, pole position, the lounge, this exit, toy pop, Bosconia, and Rally X. Take a look at the lounge first. Now in the lounge is basically nothing more than just your relaxation room. Now in each of these room each of these room doesn't really look like this, but uh there's like some magazines from out the previous years of different games. 1986, 12 through 14, that's like the issue numbers. Uh, I believe this is the, that's like a TV screen or something. That's your jukebox, your drinks, and I think it's like a save data or something. Never really know what this was. Okay, that's for all your records. 
Okay, I was gonna skip to that part then. Alright. So now on to the game itself. You already saw that. Let's get out of here. Alright. Let's see where is that. Okay, toy pop. Now for each of these rooms, they're really fascinating. They basically show each room has a uh, one has a different colored checkered flooring. And this is red. And this is basically like all the things that they actually had back in the day. Had the books, some like uh chippings or whatever, whatever the hell it is. Then of course I know each room has more stuff to it though. Now this part I used to watch a lot. Basically it shows you like all the pixelization pictures. It also shows you how to play. And once you get to the final part of the room. It's a game table. Like I said for each game they look different. Right here is just basically nothing more than just a clock tower. Empty. There's a door. That's all there is for Toy Pop. But uh, let's get the game started here. Now, for Toy Pop, this is actually a really big name because I used to play this a lot. Um, basically, what you do, I forgot, what is their names? We're going to say it on here, so. I want to say his name is Chino, and that's what that looks like every time you start an arcade. Okay, a Pino and uh, I forgot the other girl's name. Pino and Aki are going to Majo's Castle today with Freddy. Alright. So the objective of the game is basically uh, waste all the enemies. You have either pellets and bull you have pellets and bullets. Now what you also have to do, if you can look, there's like these golden hearts. That's what opens the door. Now you want to try to do that all before time runs out. Now far and as far as the enemies go, uh, you can hit the soldiers with the pellets. You can hit the car. You only have to hit the cars with the tires. You cannot hit them with pellets. They're strong. And if you do lose, or if you do, like, get hit, you don't really lose a life completely. You basically just lose your clothes, but right now I'm just naked. It's kind of weird. So now that we see all the enemies are... Maybe, I'm going to say they're done a little bit. Because the, uh, the transport is ready to come out of. Now once we get all the hearts... Walls start closing in, so you just gotta make it through the door in time. In the each stage, they add on another enemy, and the enemy now, and that one is supposed to be a bomb. Alright. Let's do it. Okay, and apparently a car cannot get wiped out by a bomb. See, we got a fork. So basically, all the enemies are in the foods. Okay, now we got. Okay, now we got a tank. And we just got killed. But don't worry, we got some more lives, so we are still good. Okay. Amos got killed again. So yeah, it's a pretty simple. Uh, I know there's, there's another game I know it's like this. I forgot what. Let's see, another hearts in there. Okay, right there. Let's try to get these last things, whatever. Let's go. So now they added, they took away the tape, now it's in the balloon. Now for that, we're gonna need the pin. Now you're gonna need some pins. 
Whew. And these balloons can actually go through anything. They also go through boxes. So it's kind of... They're kind of impermeable. Let's get these real quick. Then again, of course, the cars don't really have effect to these type of weapons. Ooh, I got hit. And I just died. Boohoo. So now I'm gonna put my lame name in there. I actually beat my high score. Look at that. So that was Toy Pop, and Lightsaber is going to end it right there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Namco Museum. I know I, I know there's other games out here I could have done, but I'm going to wait till next season because I got something better planned because I'm going to be doing some new things. But Toy Pop for the, on the Namco Museum is a pretty good game. I recommend this game to anyone that is also a Namco fan, let alone a Pac-Man fan. It's fun. And that, ladies and gentlemen, in today's Key Clip 148. Season 2, episode 73. Hope you guys liked this episode as much as I did. Something I would like even more. If you guys like and comment on the video, also subscribe to the channel. Find me on Facebook, facebook.com slash do1192. Or you can find, find me on Twitter and Instagram, do1192. And also on Vine, Keenan1192. Sergeant, until next time, stay tuned for 149. And I'll see y'all when I'm going to see y'all. Peace out.